day is gonna sound a little different. Yes, sir. Now, I don't know how this is gonna sound, but we'll just have to see. Um, learning to slow down. Slow down, not slow your process down, but be calm, right? Move through life calm. Now, I do want to read you all of what this says, but I'm going to read you only two. Let's see here. This is the case of a man who is all alone, not a child or brother, yet who works hard to gain as much wealth as he can. But then he asks himself, who am I working for? Why am I giving up so much pleasure now? Is it all so meaningless and depressing? Now, this is a great example of a lot of people's lives, right? <laughs> Where they don't take the time to actually love God's grace. And on top of that, God's gifts. You know, we're not always meant to be happy every single day. Right? Never. But what we are meant to do is to be happy in the end. Right? Work up to a point where we will be happily living here until we, you know, pass away. And we're fit. And in doing so, whatever choice, right, whatever plan he has for you is what has to be done. The opportunities that are thrown at you, right, shows that. Now, There's a lot of tricks to it. You know, the devil plays roles, you know. The devil does things too. You guys got to watch out for that too. The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Always, always peace. If you choose to have a chaotic life, for the rest of your life, you will be miserable, tired, crying your eyes out. That is just how it's going to be. Never choose a chaotic life. And have fun. Right? You want to go to a party? Go ahead. Make good choices though. Right? Don't be drinking. Smoking. Drugs. That's not something you should be doing. If you can go to a party, go ahead. Hang out. But choose a peaceful life over chaotic. It's never going to end well. Its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. This is great. This is a great example. A quiet life is a peaceful life. And I always say this. A quiet life is a peaceful life. And knowing that you don't have people judging you, nor do you have others saying things bad about you, which would be the chaotic life. You will have confidence in yourself. Because no one else is going to say anything about you. It's only you and your mind. And your mind is the only thing that will hold you back. Or say things about you. A hurried life is a busy life. Of course, of course. That's, that's just straight to the point. Right. You want to move fast like this? Take it slow. Right. You do not want to mess up. There's one thing you do not want to do. A lot of people have done that. Especially for businesses, right? Colleges. Ooh, you go to college. And you're gonna be a lot of debt. I'm not saying don't go. I'm not saying college is a bad choice, but if 
If you just rush in like this, you're going to make all the wrong choices. It is to run around like a headless chicken. Yet people who are always in a hurry and chasing after all sorts of things get little done. Especially for relationships. This is a very good example for that too. Wait, 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 wait. Be patient. That's what you always should be doing is being patient. Be patient. And everything would come to you. Simple as that, right? Now, obviously you're not going to be handed it. This isn't baby work, all right? You work for it. In a patient, slow manner. Right, you got to think and learn as you go. They are busy. They never have time for anything or anyone. <laughs> now, there is a lot of that going around. Like, I got to lock in, man. Like, I got to start talking to my friends, my family even. There's a lot of that going around. And I don't know if that works right. I've never truly seen it. I've seen it in social media. Uh, you know, it's going to TikTok. But what I truly believe is that. Right. No, I, I don't. But I would say, actually, I would say this. Don't lose your friends. Do not lose your friends. Because that is the greatest one of the greatest gifts you can ever receive down here is a friend, a friend that stick by you, learn with you, right? help you when you need them, correct you when you're doing something wrong. That is the greatest gift that you can have. One of them. So to lose that for self pleasure, not good. But no mountains ever move in their surroundings. Don't live that way. Be urgent, but not hurried. Right? Do what you need to do for the Lord every day. Then you are doing enough. Pray, read just a little bit of the Bible, right? Do something for the Lord. What the Lord tells you, right? What the Lord tells you is enough. What He shows you is enough. And for you to also put it in work, right? Not everything's going to be easy. And it's, everyone always tells you, nothing is going to come to you unless you put in work, right? But don't lose things along the way. This is that. All right? That was the eight-minute video. I do not know how this sounds. Um, but I'll see if I can make another video. Until next time.